This is the story of how a sailing weekend with two friends turned into, well... I guess you'll see for yourself. Hello, good morning everybody, and welcome to this first episode of Sea Wolves. So I promised that I would take you all along for my three to four day sailing trip that I'm about to go on with my friends Tom and Jerry, I kid you not, more on that later. And I'm doing this in English uh, for the Nederlanders, as you think, waarom doet dit in Engels? Uh, because most of the Sea Wolves are, of course, English uh, speaking fellows and ladies. So um, that's why I'm doing this in English. And right now I'm packing my bags, as you can see. And uh, the plan is to either sail to England or Vleeland, uh, based on the weather where there's still a discussion going on between the three of us, what is smarter. And the main criteria is that we have uh, four days maximum to do this. After that, we all have you know other work things to do. So uh, the wind looks really good for England, uh, but the wind back is gonna be uh, basically as bad as it could possibly be. Uh, but if we go to Vleeland, then we have a perfect uh, window to go and a nice beam reach with a little bit of beating uh, at the end and we can have an amazingly fast uh, trip back also with perfect wind conditions so i think it's probably going to be vleeland but we're going to see later for now as you can see i'm packing my stuff so uh let's get to the marina and we'll see what happens of course I have to kiss goodbye to the lady before leaving so. This is the route which we plan to sail, from Amsterdam straight to the island of Terschelling. First we would have to motor down the Eye Canal to the city of Eymuiden from Amsterdam, where we would exit onto the North Sea, then turning our course north, first passing the island of Noorderhaax, then the island of Tessel, Vlieland, and finally passing through the Vliestrum, or otherwise called the Seagate of Terschelling, to the city of West Terschelling, with its iconic lighthouse, the Brandaris. On the weg, we are underway. It's early, and uh, I'll show you the, the sun is almost coming up. Hello to the sea wolves. Hello to the sea wolves. <laughs> hey, say hello. The sun is coming up. Yeah. And this is Tom and Jerry. Whether you believe it or not. You it or not. <laughs> now, believe it or not, but their names really are Tom and Jerry. And uh, both of them are avid sailors, and you might even know Tom if you ever watch sailing videos. Because um, this video here kind of went viral um, of a ship in storm entering a very, very narrow entrance to the island of Vliland, uh, which actually will come back in this video later. And uh, with this kind of heroic uh, entrance in the middle of a storm, uh, it was actually uh, watched about 800,000 times and went all over the world. But uh, the guy piloting this particular uh, boat is actually Tom, right there. That's him. So maybe you've already seen him once before. About an hour more to Aymuide and then uh, we're uh, going on to the North Sea and the destination is going to be Ter Schelling, so here we go. The ship we're sailing for this journey is Jerry's very own pride and joy, the Lowland Lady, which she actually sailed to Norway and back just a few weeks ago, so we know she's in great shape. <laughs> 
so uh, we just went through the lock now we're gonna fuel up and then it's onto the sea we're already on the salt water so it smells really nice looking for it after a quick refueling stop and rig check in Aimuiden we're finally ready to hit the sea it's time to raise the sails and stretch your sea legs start we're setting an amazing pace sailing at about a 60 degree angle into about 20 knots of wind and the view is amazing the skies are absolutely clear and since the wind is blowing in over land the sea is as flat as I've ever seen it in these type of wind conditions Once we reach about 5 miles of shore, we tighten up the sails, setting our course a little bit higher on the wind, and we settle in for what we expect to be about a 15 hour sail. But we notice that the gusts are pretty strong, going slightly over 25 knots already, so we decide to reef the main in anticipation of perhaps some more wind to come. And with a 
first reef in, we're ready for action. And action, we're about to get. Yeah, kijk, now he's mooi. Now he's perfect. With the average wind and gusts increasing steadily as we go, we quickly decide to put a reef in the Genoa as well. These are the type of conditions that every sailor dreams of. A warm September day, about 20 degrees. A flat sea with wind coming from shore. An average wind of 25 to 27 knots with gusts up to about 32. It's absolutely perfect sailing conditions. And we are having an absolute blast. What more could you possibly wish for on a Friday morning? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, look out. Okay, this is a pure Hollands. Oh, I have to do it in, uh, in English. Oh, yeah, I have to English. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a real Dutch habit. Um, eating raw herring fish. <laughs> We are enjoying some delicious Dutch delicacies. The wind and waves are slowly but certainly building more. As we reach the island of Norderhout and are ready to turn more into the wind, making our way past Tessel and towards the edge of Leon. way past Tessel, we have to sail the lowland lady, about as high on the wind as she'll go. And as we made a turn now, some of the wind is no longer coming over land, but also just from sea, increasing the gusts by quite a bit. Meanwhile, the tide has turned with us, and we now enjoy about a two and a half knot current pushing us faster north, increasing our speed over ground to between seven and eight knots. With the wind coming from the exact opposite direction, we have a perfect wind against tide situation, and the waves are building quickly. 
And as I'm keeping watch on my own for a bit, as Tom and Jerry are enjoying a sandwich below outside of the wind, we are suddenly hit by the first gust that blows well over 40 knots. first glimpse of what is about to hit us. Tipping the boat over fully, forcing me to depower the main hull to regain control. And bringing up Tom to discuss if perhaps it's time to put in an extra reef into the sails. Wind speed is still between 25 and 32 knots, but gusts over 40 knots are no joke, and usually they're not alone. Decisions while sailing are serious. The wind prediction was a steady 20 knots with no significant gusts, but a gust over 40 knots, which means up to about 32 knots in absolute terms, is much more wind than predicted. And we are about half of the way past Tessel already. There's a real sense on board that the wind is increasing and will keep doing so. All of the marinas near here are located on the inside of the island ring and require us to navigate one of the narrow and shallow sea gates into the extremely shallow and treacherous Wadersee. Meaning, if the wind increases much more, we have no real options for shelter, except to turn around and sail back to Amsterdam. The marinas on the islands all require the tides to be exactly right in order for us to enter with our two meter draft. And the sun is setting. We estimate we have only about four hours of daylight left at this point. Also, we have a two knot current pushing us north. Turning back would decrease our boat speed, making it impossible to reach the marina of Tessel in time to enter. But with the tide with us and our boat speed at an incredible seven to eight knots, Vliland seems like our best option. Unlike Ter Schelling, it allows us to sail the final bit with the wind with us instead of fully against us. So our plan is made. We keep the sails up to keep our boat speed at its maximum. We are going to Vlieland. an hour later we experience another massive wind increase but the average wind speeds that we've been experiencing so far have been between 25 and 32 knots now all of a sudden we're going to an average wind speed of about 37 to 40 knots with increases up to 50 and you're about to see the dramatic impact on our speed for yourself
Now, adrenaline rush and fun aside, it's time to put on our vests because this stuff is getting serious. Since our angle into the wind did not need to be as dramatic on this tack, we had a moment to relax a little bit as we made our way back towards the shore. The wind was holding steady now though, gushing from 38 to 45 knots across our bow, with gusts up to well into 50 knots. And the force of this wind against the strong tides had put up some significant waves steep and high and with not many meters between them. And then the moment came to make our next and final tack. Clearing Tessel, making our way towards the edge of Leland, setting our new course as high into the wind as the lowland lady would allow us to steer. The relative wind jumping up well over 45 knots and dipping even into the 50s as we all held on for one hell of a ride.
een vuurtje en dan uh, landen wij in het woord Vlieland in plaats van de Schelling, want uh, de wind vol tegen is iets te heftig. En in het donker is het een beetje moeilijk binnenlopen daar. Dus we hopen dat we het net voor het donker halen om bij Vlieland binnen te lopen. Wordt nog spannend. Nog 30 minuten denken we. We gaan het zien. Remember that small gate to the marina of Leland that I mentioned in the beginning of this film? At this moment, the sun is already under for about 15 minutes. Here in the video, it still looks pretty light, but I'm using a camera with an f-stop of 1.8. In reality, it looks more like this. Netjes, netjes! Toch was dat. Het resultaat van de dag zeilen is dat we iets wat water hebben binnen gehad. Heel klein luikje op staan. Proost. Cheers jongens. Proost man hè. Wat een dag. Thank you all for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this little adventure of ours. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. In the next episode, follow us along as we make it actually to Terschelling and then make a night sail back to Amsterdam. So hopefully see you again on the water soon.